Okay, this is Joe from Art Alien TV, and today, for all you space detectives out there, I'm going to be doing another update on the Perseverance rover. And there's a few things that have been spotted, which are rather strange. And uh, this is one of them. Now, this was posted by Thomas Jensen uh, just a couple of days ago on uh, Mars Magazine. So if you're new to this channel, come along to Mars Magazine on Facebook. People are posting updates on all the latest finds uh, on, from Mars, especially from the new rover now. And uh, this is one of them. And this was put up by, like I said, this was put up by Thomas Jensen just the other day. Uh, a, a lot of other people spotted this. I spotted it early on as well. Um, but I was waiting for the mass cam images to show it because I thought they'd be a bit better. This is from the right nav cam and it's very dark, but you can see this structure here, okay? And even in this image, it looks pretty cool and it looks artificial. So, that was that. Now, basically, I thought I'd wait a day or two and wait for the mass cam images to come down, uh, which they did. And what I've done is I've done a gigapan here. Here's the mass cam. Now, this isn't the entire area. This is just the horizon. There's some interesting things on the horizon along this ridge. And uh, I have done the gigapans of the whole area, but I haven't put them up yet. Uh, by the time you watch this video, there should be a, a, a complete gigapan up as well. So look at the links below in the description and you'll be able to see just not just the horizon but the rest of the area as well including the foreground and stuff closer to the rover okay now uh let's show you that first and then there's a few other things to see as well now this is the enhanced version at the bottom the raw version is at the top looks very similar to gale crater these have the orange filter on the so-called raw images from the mass cam now, a lot of people complain about the orange filter, but I quite like it in some ways because what it means is you can see into the shadows here. And when you colorize an image like this one, this one's been color corrected and brightness turned up and contrast added. When you do that, the shadows go almost black, as you can see, and you can't see any detail in them. They go almost black, like a dark grays or a black color. Um, and that actually can hide things that you might be looking for. So sometimes the raw images are actually better for certain things, okay? But here's the structure, and it looks like a bunker. It's got a slope here going up, partly collapsed here, it's got a very straight top, very flat top. The back angle there matches up with this angle here. So we've got parallels, we've got symmetry, this looks like a structure, a rectangular structure, which is uh, dilapidated and mostly buried. And it's behind this sort of ridge here. And it, I think what happens here is the ground drops down and this thing is probably coming down to about here, but it's also buried as well. It's hard to say exactly. And I'm hoping we will get, in the next few days and weeks, we will get some better angles of this and different angles and closer shots and the rover may even drive quite near to it and look at it from another spot over here somewhere hopefully as well so i'll just quickly show you that in here before we move on i've got a clip of it here it's a bit darker this clip and sometimes you need to add shadow to it to, to show the shapes but you can see quite clearly that this looks artificial and is basically the, the angles I'm looking at mainly are, are the top angle, which is parallel with this, and we have a nice angle at the back. So it's kind of rectangular, but this is kind of fallen down here, and this is kind of dilapidated as well and fallen down, and it's got sand blown up against it like most things have in the area and on Mars. They've got sand piled up against them. now. Sand does not form dunes unless there's something for it to form over, either a rock or some kind of formation. This is not a sand dune, right? There should not be structures like this in the middle of a crater like Jezero, but there are. And I fully suspect, as I've said before, there'll be many, many more to see, okay? So you can see that shape and you can see that it looks artificial. And uh, when you look at it on the gigapan, uh, this is much lighter, obviously, I've lightened it. You can actually see that shape, pretty obvious what it is. It looks like some kind of structure. I, I couldn't be sure, 
but it's very similar to some, some of the so-called butte structures that we see uh, near the base of Mount Sharp in Gale Crater, very similar indeed. And uh, a lot of those show symmetry as well. And I think a lot of those are buildings and some of them are burial mounds. Now we also have this very reflective object here. Sean Ward did do a video on this earlier last night or today. So check that out as well. He did a, 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 like a four minute video on some of these things. Um, so go and check out his channel. He's a good researcher. He does some really cool stuff actually. Let's look at that with the magnifier. This is really small, but we have something reflective here on the, on the ridge. Now this may be part of one of the descent stages of the rover. Now when the, the rover came down, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, when the rover came down, obviously it was in stages and some of the, when some of the stages split off um, they use uh, some some kind of explosives to to remove parts of the casing so that the parachute can come out and stuff like that so you get fragments of metal and all sorts of stuff coming off the rover as it comes down from the descent stage as it separates okay um, so these may be fragments of that I don't know um, but that, that is possible because there will be some fragments in the area and it does look similar to some of them um, from the rover so who knows but that's interesting reflective object there and then there were some weird mounds and strange things here this is another thing that John Moore pointed out uh, I did spot this when I was making the gigapans earlier yesterday uh, it's kind of bottle shaped object very odd sticking up out of the ground what could that be uh, similar things in Gale Crater as well. Um, who knows what that is? I'll take a clip of that and get up nice and close. Um, there's another weird mound here that looks very similar to some some of the burial mounds in Gale Crater. Perfect, absolutely perfect. It's got a flat top and evenly spaced or evenly sloped sides. Right, that looks like a burial mound. Okay, dolmen type structure okay very similar to some in Gale Crater and there's another one over here a bit smaller but also perfectly sloped now these don't just form on their own there must be something underneath that for the sand to blow up against it so it's some kind of structure probably that's buried there we are loads of these in Gale Crater that's of course the buttes and mounds, but a lot of them are artificial. And there's some weird structures on top of this thing here as well. Um, let's have a look at those. Up here, parallel structures there. And something coming down here as well. So maybe, maybe not. That's interesting. We will get closer views of a lot of this stuff in coming weeks. So we will get more clarity and detail on these things. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you the descent stage of the Perseverance rover. I've got it up here, right? Um, let's get rid of that. We don't need... So, as I said, come to Facebook, Mars Magazine. Um, it's free to join up, and uh, you'll see all the latest updates before they even get onto a video or anything like that. This is where all the latest stuff is, okay? So do come along to Mars Magazine. Um, there was also this thing, a quick article here, I'm not going to read it, uh, about the helicopter drone on Mars. We should be getting footage from that soon as well in the next couple of days. Maybe later today, probably tomorrow, I don't know yet. Um, but it's all up and coming and that would be a first. Uh, they're, they're going to do a test flight and take a couple of photographs and maybe even some video, uh, don't know. Um, so there's an article here about that. I'll link to that below. Um, Ingenuity is the uh, name of the helicopter, okay? So that's pretty cool. Uh, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play this. This is the descent of the rover into Jezero Crater. And pay attention to the, to the craters on the ground and how close the rover actually came to ending up in one of them, all right? Now the, the crater is one of the ones I showed in the previous video. It's the left crater. And uh, Jezero itself is a huge crater. It's about 30 or 40 miles wide. I think it's over 30 miles. And, uh, but there's lots of smaller craters in it, right? And as the rover comes down, you'll see these two craters that are almost the same size, left and right. And it, it, it kind of goes towards one of them and then suddenly changes course 
uh, to avoid it, right? So pay attention for that, and also pay attention to the fragments coming off the descent stage as the um, the parachutes deployed, and we have separation, okay? Because there's lots of bits of rover parts and and uh, descent stage parts that kind of fly off when that happens, and I, I think we're seeing some of those on the ground near the rover in the zero crater in that gigapan, okay? And we'll probably find some more as well as we go through the next few days. Okay, so I'm gonna play this now. I'll enlarge that and then press play. Hopefully the sound is okay. We are starting the straighten up and fly right maneuver where the spacecraft will jettison the entry balance masses in preparation for parachute deploy and to roll over to give the radar a better look at the ground. Applicate in the cage, shoot deploy. The navigation has confirmed that the parachute has deployed and we are seeing significant deceleration in the velocity. Our current velocity is 440 meters per second at an altitude of about 12 kilometers from the surface of Mars. Heat shield set. Perseverance has now slowed to subsonic speeds and the heat shield has been separated. This allows both the radar and the cameras to get their first look at the surface. Current velocity is 145 meters per second and an altitude of about 10 kilom nine and a half kilometers above the surface. Nav filter converge. Velocity solution 3.3 meters per second. Altitude 7.4 kilometers. Now has radar lock on the ground. Current velocity is about 100 meters per second. 6.6 .6 kilometers above the surface. Perseverance is continuing to descend on the parachute. We are coming up on the initialization of terrain relative navigation and subsequently the priming of the landing engines. Our current velocity is about 90 meters per second at an altitude of 4.2 kilometers. OVS valid. We have confirmation that the lander vision system has produced a valid solution and part of terrain relative navigation. Priming. TBA is nominal. We have priming of the landing engines. Back shell set. Current velocity is 83 meters per second at about 2.6 kilometers from the surface of Mars. We have confirmation that the back shell has separated. We are currently performing the divert maneuver. Current velocity is about 75 meters per second at an altitude of about a kilometer off the surface of Mars. Here in safety, Bravo. We have completed our terrain relative navigation. Current speed is about 30 meters per second, altitude of about 300 meters off the surface of Mars. We have started our constant velocity accordion, which means we are conducting the sky crane, about to conduct the sky crane maneuver. Sky crane maneuver has started, about 20 meters off the surface. We're getting signals from MRO. Tango Delta. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars, ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. Okay, right. So, as you saw, um, it came very close to go going into one of those craters on the ground. And had it done that, it would have been in real trouble, basically, because uh, I don't know how exactly how deep that crater is. Um, but I imagine it's way more than 20 or 30 feet deep. It's probably, it could be 50 or 100 feet deep and full of sand and dust. If it had ended up in there, it would have been stuck forever. So luckily the navigation systems worked. They, they scanned the area quickly before they came in or as they were coming down, it was a seven minute descent and uh, they took some detailed um, radar images of the ground and then decided on the best uh, area but basically that was a bit of a close call and it sort of diverted in the last minute, the last sort of 20 seconds, diverted away from that crater and then landed to the south of both of them using the two, the two craters as a navigation aid or the avoidance system kicked in, I should say. Okay. So 
So that was pretty cool, very cool indeed. And really nice footage there. And hopefully we'll get some nice footage from this as well in the next few days. Uh, as soon as we do, I'll put it on Mars Magazine and I'll also put it in the next video for those that haven't seen it. Check this out. Basically, we've got um, some weird mounds and they do look very similar to some that I've shown in Gale Crater and they look artificial, some of them. Uh, we've got some more natural looking features in the background here and we've got the edge of the crater at the back there. Um, this looks more natural. And then we have this one, which is almost perfect here. That looks artificial. And uh, as I said before, weeks ago, and even months ago, I fully expect to see all sorts of structures and weird things on the ground in Jazeera Crater, just like we have everywhere else we've looked, pretty much. Uh, these things are all over the place. But this one was really cool because it's got real symmetry to it. And you can see that rectangular shape. I'll show you that once, once more in here. That rectangular shape is really obvious. Let's make that a bit bigger. You've got the, this almost perfectly straight line at the top and this almost perfectly straight line here. And then we have this angle at the back showing that this is some kind of rectangular structure that's fallen down. This looks like a wall here. That's a wall. And this looks like a wall. So who knows, this may have had a roof on it, who knows, and it's kind of slipped down here and, and fallen down. And uh, this may be only part of a, of a much, much bigger structure that probably comes down like this, okay? And I would imagine it's probably collapsed at this end, but this may have actually been a rectangular structure completely but we're only seeing the top part of it. It may come down like this. Let's make that a bit bigger. Or who knows, it may be a pyramidal structure like some of the ones in Gale Crater. and may come right out like this, like a, like a sort of um, step pyramid or a bunker s sort of structure. Um, they're, they're all over the place. I've shown them uh, on the area west of Jezero Crater. Uh, there's, there's some in the Aram Chaos region they're, they're all over the place. Gale Crater's full of them. And uh, the burial mounds also, they're, they're all over the place. I mean, they're crazy. And, and the ones in Gale Crater have got skulls and things all over them. Objects and everything all over them where the, the, the uh, material and regolith has been blown away by the wind. Now this is really worth checking out. This is the area just west of Jezero Crater where there are plants, giant branches and, and roots coming out of the ground. And this is literally about 10, 20 miles away from where the rover is now, probably about 20 so, or so miles away. Uh, these are insane and there's huge, huge kind of weird dunes with, with branches and things coming out of them, the roots coming out of them, going down into the ground, you can see it here, and uh, these massive branches and roots kind of all tangled up coming out of the ground. There's no way these are just dunes, right? A lot of them are, but a lot of them aren't. Okay, so check that out. That's really worth watching that video. And there are a few others I did on Jezero Crater um, where there are uh, other things to see as well near Jezero Crater. This particular one here, Mars Village by Square Building Complex, Jezero. This is on the crater rim looking down towards the rover. And the rover may well be driving right past this if it follows the traverse map that they published a couple of days ago it may well go right past because there's a valley just below this area just below here there's a sort of valley which is a way out of the crater it's like a natural kind of pathway that goes it may not be natural maybe artificial uh, it's like a valley you can go through like a pass like a mountain pass that that cuts through the edge of the crater and that's the only really safe way out of the crater other than going through the old riverbed. And now the old riverbed is, is very uneven and dangerous terrain. They're going to have to go past this at some point to go out of the crater and search the terrain west of the crater, which is what the plan is, okay? So check that out. And there's a load of structures here in Arabia Terra as well, which are similar. Uh, some of these are kind of pyramidal. Some of them are look natural, but a lot of them are square and rectangular, like we have today in Jezero Crater, okay, very similar. And you can actually measure them as well and they're absolutely perfectly the same 
distance of horror. So check those out. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'll put some clips up coming up in a few seconds. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you soon.